And news from Europe now. Switzerland, although one of the most uh, developed and affluent nations, is moving at a snail's pace when it comes to putting men and women on an equal footing in the workplace. And that's why the Swiss women are organizing a day of protest that will include demonstrations in cities from Geneva to Zurich, as well as at the parliament in Bern. Here's a report on that. I will strike because it is extremely important that we find solution to improve the situation of women in Switzerland. They're in their 30s, 40s and 60s. They're farmers, politicians, filmmakers, even actors. Women from across Swiss society will go on strike for the second time in almost 30 years to highlight the country's record on defending the rights of women and families. Despite its high quality of life, Switzerland lags behind other developed economies when it comes to female pay and workplace equality between genders. As a professional snowboarder, when I started snowboarding, women were not allowed to participate in slope-style competitions. Men had decided it was too dangerous for women. And still today, in free-ride competitions, the first man ski gets $8,000 when the first woman snowboarder gets $4,000 for the same competition, the same day, on the same mountain. There is still so much to be done to bring gender equality. Using the slogan, pay time respect, the event echoes a strike held in 1991, five years before Switzerland's Gender Equality Act came into force. That law banned workplace discrimination and sexual harassment, protecting women from bias or dismissal over pregnancy, marital status or gender. But more than 20 years later, women argue that they are earning less than men and face routine questioning of their competence. As women in politics and all my colleagues would probably also agree, we are routinely confronted with people questioning our competencies with a form of condescension or paternalism. It's very hard to find your place and impose your positions in the public debate. Organizers say the strike is aimed at highlighting the wage gap, recognition of care work, violence against women and the need for greater representation in positions of power and a more equitable family policy. I had some superiors, my bosses, if they were men, they were always, um, they always told me that I'm cute or that I could be their daughter or that I, yeah, stuff like that, just stuff to always show me that I'm little and that I'm cute and that I'm not actually a serious co-worker. As per the Federal Statistics Office data, Swiss women earn roughly 20% less than men. While that is down from about a third in 1991, the discrimination gap, meaning differences that cannot be explained by rank or role, has actually worsened since 2000. In June 1991, women protested in the heart of Zurich's financial district, demanding equal pay for equal work. Five years later, in 1996, the Gender Equality Act was passed. Clearly, not much has changed since then.